Oh, hi there. While cleaning out my shed, I came across this really neat mannequin and I see garden planter written all over her. What do you think? Let's go back to my studio and make some really cool art. Hi, it's Marcy and welcome back. Today's creative episode is all about repurposing things you already own. And this little lady was found in my, okay, you need to maybe turn the camera. There you go. Oops, cover up. This little lady was found in my shed and I've had her for probably about 15 years. And it's time to do something with her that's really super creative. I'm thinking like a planter for the garden. The how-to's coming right up. Today's first order of business is this little girl is gonna get a little bath. She has 15 years of grime from the shed sitting on her body. All right, we're back and we are all set to start placing our tesserae on the body. I'm going to make some indents right here, not even indents, just little markings so that it's gonna give us an idea of where we wanna go. I would suggest gloves to protect your hands from the VersaBond. Uh, it is rather drying and, ah, I don't need to get these on there. There you go. All right, I'm gonna mix up a little bit of VersaBond I'm using white. It comes in different colors. It comes in the gray as well. I'll leave a list of the materials that you'll need to make this project. And I'll leave that down in the description box so we just can dive right into our project. I'm mixing up a little bit. I'd rather batch it a little bit at a time versus a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a little bit of an imprint here. Not a big deal. I'm going to make an imprint of where her dress is going to be. You can do it with pencil, pen, whatever you want to do. It's not a big deal. She's going to have a very plunging neckline. <laughs> All right. Now, what we'll do is, I think I'm going to do white for her skin tones and a little peach. The dress, the bodice, is gonna be a, it's going to be a zebra design. These Limoges plates were actually, this is a short story, my pup whose collar got stuck in the lower part of the dishwasher uh, pulled, he was so frightened, he pulled out of the dishwasher and he pulled with him the whole rack of dishes which were Limoges zebra dishes were actually looking like this. So I get to use these for my tesserae, for all my mosaics. All right, let's start in here. It does help when you're beginning with your mosaics that you do have a lot of your tesserae cut up already so you can just rock and roll and you don't have to keep stopping and cutting unless it's for a particular area that you need to fit something in, then of course that's, you know, you do that. But I did give the bodice a little bit of light sanding first. I decided that I was gonna change out this middle part here and put a big ass stone uh, a big rock. Even though I have some tesserae already cut up, I do want to 
keep cutting as I go because I want to fit it into a lot of spaces around her bodies. You're gonna keep on doing this until you are complete, until the project is complete. You do wanna make sure that when you're placing your tesserae or your cut objects, that they are not pointing up, that they're all level. And if they are pointing up, you simply go in and you cut and you refit. As you can see, I'm pushing around the, the thin set with my fingers, and I'm not using plastic gloves for this. Um, the, the plastic gloves I have are a bit looser on my fingers than I would like, so I do have a, a wet towel here that I'm wiping my, my hands off with. It's very easy to manipulate the Versabond, my, my thin set, with the tile, with the little pieces of tile, so I'm kind of pushing them out. And I'm getting this pretty close together. So this is a good time to check your, your tiles and just to kind of make sure that the, there's no point sticking up and if it's something that you can fix, you just lift the tile up. You can adjust it by clipping it down. The other option is you let it dry, you grout, and then you go over with a light Dremel tool. It's really, it's really your preference. All right, so we're gonna continue on. And what I think I'm gonna do is, let me, I'm gonna cut some blush tiles for here and some red tiles for the lips. If you find that your thin set is going towards the drier side, feel free to add just a tad more water and get a better balance to it. Mine is starting to dry it a little bit, so I want to be able to apply it with my brush. going to indicate the bottom part of the dress and I'm going to change color here so this is just a rough drawing out with a you know matching it out with a, a piece of tesserae I'm going to be putting this down here and also on the back side this is going to give me an idea of where to bring my black and white zebra design down to Here I'm simply filling the little lady's armholes with a bunch of grout. I'm gonna do both sides. So while I'm working on her with the tiling, this will dry completely and we'll be ready to tile that as well.
finishing up on the back side and I do have a few gaps here that I see that I could definitely improve upon. And I'm gonna go through and just kind of squeeze these in. All right, I think I'm gonna leave that and turn it on its side and continue on with the, the arm or where the arm would normally go, I should say. I'm gonna finish off parts of the head and let it dry and then we'll grout. It's looking really, really good. I'm very happy with the progress. Our little lady is ready to be grouted. The tesserae is very solid. I've checked over her body. No pieces that are coming off, which is really good. Nothing seems shaky. Let's do this. I'm going to go real slow grouting this uh, piece with the mortar. As you can see, I'm completely cleaning up this one section before I move on to the next section. I do want to show you this one little tool that I'm using. It's nothing but a little um, X-Acto knife. Or you can use anything, you could probably use an awl. But this gets into the tiny little areas like in here in between the, the little gems that sit on the top. That really helps a lot and you can go in and if there's something to kind of excavate you can do that with this and like, without damaging anything so anyway just wanted to let you know that also I want to let you know that my towel here is not wet I'm working with a dry towel are wrapping up here. Now's the time that as I'm finishing, I'm gonna go over the, the entire piece one more time to kind of give it a look over, make sure that where there's supposed to be grout, there's grout. And after that, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna trim out the edge of her head before we put the soil in, as well as the base of the piece back here. I'll show you what we'll do there. For going around her head, I am taking the mortar mix and I'm gently just pressing it in. You could leave it like it is, it's not that bad. I just prefer a more finished look. And gently press it in, modeling it to your desire of however you want to do it. I'm just going to press this in and it doesn't exactly have to be so super smooth. Um, but. It's definitely gonna look a lot better than I think it did. I thought it looked a little rough. And it kind of just cleans up the edge a little bit. But again, you know, you don't need it really um, because the plants are going to go over it. But honestly speaking, I like, as I said, I finished. Just make sure you clean up anything that may go over on the uh, the glass or whatever tesserae you have here. I'm using the glass, the gold glass. So, you know, mannequins weren't made to go outside, most of them. And so what I'm gonna also do is, I'm laying some grout 
down at the base here because I don't want it to leak any water inside. So I'm kind of filling just some crevices here. And I know for a fact that it leaks because I tested out some water and I don't, I don't want that because eventually it will destroy the inner part of the piece. For the base of the piece, I want to quickly show you that I'm smoothing out a layer of mortar on the bottom and I'm also filling in the hole that was here because I said I don't want water coming through here and I also want to eliminate the opportunity for bugs to make any kind of home inside here. Now if you're going to put it inside, it's not a big deal, but if it is going to be outside on your terrace, uh, you could get lizards. Um, you know, insects going in there, wanting to make their home in there. What a nice little home, Pretty, so convenient. <laughs> but we don't want that. Um, I don't want that. So I'm gonna just smooth it out and I'm gonna let this dry. Stay tuned for the reveal. I'm so excited to share this with you. I would like to thank you for joining us. Have an amazing day.